Are you ready, Cancer? Because this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I'm going to hop right in after I say Merry Christmas to you. I hope that you find love and joy and abundance of family and friends and food around you all day today, tomorrow, and throughout the new year. Happy New Year as well, my fellow moon babies. So let's get into this. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Cancer influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, Cancers, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. It doesn't all have to apply. So Cancer, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising. Energy for Cancerians for the next seven days. Energy for Cancerians for the next seven days. Energies to focus on messages. Okay, all right, Cancer, all right. Messages and energies for Cancer for the next seven days. Messages and energies for Cancer for the next seven days. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe, help the channel grow. It's grown beautifully over the past uh, six months and I'm so grateful for all the help and support and how you've contributed to this channel's growth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are my Christmas gift, so I appreciate this, I do. Um, please do click subscribe and also ring that bell so you know when I go live. All right, Cancer. Oh, oh, oh. There was a dump of energy that just came right out. All right. Let's see if we can get one more shuffle. Big, a big reading. Okay. Cancer for the next seven days. 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 Cancerians for the next seven days. All right. Cancerians for the next seven days. Okay. Cancerians for the next seven days. Cancerians for the next seven days. Cancerians for the next seven days. Cancerians for the next crowning your energy. Crowning. A real good shuffle though, I have to say. All the cards are going crazy. Okay. Oh, there you go. Crowning your energy. Co-create with spirit. Aligning yourself, finding your voice, and knowing your message or getting the message. A message coming through, and it could be a message of endings and new beginnings. Um, a message coming through basically of destiny, your fate, of something, and it was kind of like kind of cockeyed. Um, let, so crowning your energy is basically maybe having trouble finding your way or knowing where you are in life right now, like knowing where your true direction is or, or feeling compromised, feeling like you, you know it, but you're not certain of it anymore. Like it's been too compromised. Like nobody listens to you. Like nobody is listening or nobody is taking you seriously, but this is what you have to understand Cancerian. Nobody has to take you seriously. You have to take you seriously. You're the only one that, that needs to take you seriously. Everybody else can make fun, throw stones, um, be critical. You're the one that has to take you seriously. It's only a conversation between you and spirit. It's not a conversation between the community, you and spirit. So it's not about what they think. It's about what you think. And there's this sense of having a compromised sense of what you think, a compromised sense of connection and confidence when you have to stand alone with spirit. Because standing alone with spirit, it takes a lot of faith. And it's almost like it, it's, it, it's not comfortable for you. It's not a comfortable position for you to be in. You feel like you've turned on your side all the time. You feel like you're in a, a vulnerable position. You don't like the feeling, but understand that Standing alone is something that you have to be able to do in order to do everything that you want to do. There's this energy over here. See, a compromised sense of self, not understanding your own worth, your own magic, limiting your potential for uh, future, um, limiting, this is all crowning energy, limiting your potential for future success, not understanding your own magic and what you have inside of you. 
This is the old zodiac symbol for cancer, the Egyptian zodiac symbol for cancer. So this was a transcending life and death kind of energy of magic and miracles. And this is upside down. So magic works through you. You're almost thinking that the magic is working on you or you're wanting and waiting for the magic to come and find you. Trust in the magic. Look at this. Magic works through you. Trust in the magic, both in reverse. So it's almost like you're sitting here waiting for something to happen to you when really you're the one that's supposed to be making it happen. That's what this energy is of not accepting how powerful you are and limiting your potential for the future because you don't know where the magic is really coming from. The magic isn't coming from anywhere else. It's coming from inside of you. So if you're not the one creating the magic, there absolutely is no magic. Or maybe that's what you feel. It's like if I'm not the one constantly doing everything, then there's no, no contributions coming in from the outside and it's wearing you out and it's making you feel diminished. And that's why you're questioning your connection with spirit. Maybe over the next seven days or in the past seven days, you've been really getting kind of mad or irritated at spirit. Like what? I don't understand. I'm working overtime all the time. I'm completely depleted and diminished. But what you don't understand, Cancerian, and this is what I wanted to interrupt the message, is you're not depleted. You have tremendous loads of energy. You have the resources. You have the abilities. Like you are the magic itself. So stop questioning your position, which is to create the magic, because that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's keep up this, let's keep up this. Be here now. This will help you. This is Libra energy. See the beauty that you have right in front of you. Be fascinated by those small things in front of you because they're actually more mighty and more powerful and more impressive. And this could be you too. Understanding the true beauty and the, the true, owning the true beauty of who you are. This is also um, being inspired or wanting you're looking at somebody, you're looking at something out there that you really, really want. And that's become the benchmark of, oh, do I have it yet? Well, then I guess life is shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't let whether or not you can actually hold something in your hands be the determining factor of whether or not you've succeeded in life. Be at home. Oh. There's definitely this sense of you're being home, your heart chakra being in balance, being happy or wanting to be happy at home, being able to be at home and focus more on your home. And maybe that's what's really throwing you off is this sense of you haven't had time to sort of replenish yourself with the things that make you feel most abundant and most happy because you're thinning yourself out. It's like you're everywhere and anywhere and you're just thinning yourself out more and more and more. Spend more time at home, like take a rest, like relax, put your feet up a little bit. Just be in your own presence and give to yourself over the next seven days. And you'll start to see basically your life taken off and your luck picking up. Seriously, your abundance will become abundantly clear. There's abundance coming from home. There's abundance coming from being close to home or being near your heart space or Really, ha like really being happy with um, your life and who you are or in your happy place. There's a lot of abundance coming in for you this week, Cancerian. Now is a lucky time and life is speeding up. This could have to do with family, with offspring. Um, it could be having to do with the Gemini. This is a sense of, this is a sense of what matters to you most, multiplying and, and being plentiful and then and then taking off and, and making progress, like, like smashing through walls, making progress kind of thing. Let spirit be your guide. I feel like sometime during this week, you're going to actually be, a, this is it. You're feeling drained. Spend some time closest to where you don't feel drained, which is your home, which is your house. Spend some time in your space doing those things that help you replenish yourself. And then you're going to have the plenty of energy to be able to do what you need to do and reconnect with spirit. So take some time out. Take a little bit of a, <clears throat> do you see my voice going? Like, what am I doing? I'm pushing and pushing and pushing. And of course, I'm hurting myself. So what, I, what, what, what we need to do is stop. 
There's been, it's almost like there's been too much giving. Nothing is wasted. I want to see all these cards together because this is leading somewhere. I know it is. Nothing is wasted. Let spirit be your guide. Nothing is wasted. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is moon energy. This is a secret being kept. A secret being revealed. You know, a, a light in the dark. Finally, um, information coming in that you needed. It's almost like a self-realization, to be totally honest with you. Realizing who you are and realizing that even if you've spent all your energy, you have so much energy that's coming back in. So even if you feel really depleted and, and it's almost like feeling completely depleted, but you're not, you're not. Be fearless and be bold. This is Aries energy. Cancerian. Maybe you feel like you've wasted your time on somebody who's all about themselves. Interesting. Trust and divine detours. You might get a chance or an opportunity to basically reevaluate how you see a specific situation. Definitely reevaluate how you see yourself. How you see your how how good you feel about who you are. But I think that reevaluating your relationship with a specific person is going to help a lot. Because it's almost like, wait a second. What am I doing here? I have so much to give and so much to offer. And realizing that a lot of a lot of what you've done and a lot of how you've spent your energy, Cancerian, has basically gone to help other people move forward. And so what if you spent it on yourself instead? This is like going on a shopping spree for you. Clear out the clutter. This is Cancerian energy. But matured Cancerian energy of I can navigate my own emotions. I can get rid of the stuff that isn't working for me. So whatever like bad blood that I feel or whatever fear that I feel or whatever grudges that I held in the past, letting go of that is my freedom. It's my liberation. And I can navigate. I don't have to let my emotions control me anymore. I can now can take control of them. I can, I can howl at the moon and sing its song and, and look at those things that are hidden and unhide them. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to be controlled by those darker aspects of my personality anymore. Like this is just releasing and finding control and releasing. And I had said, take this time Cancerian to physically unclutter your space. Whatever you haven't used or haven't been using over the past year, literally like work from the outside in. Take this time to go ahead and give away those things that you don't use and that aren't serving you, that have stood and they're just a bunch of nastiness now. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Like start in the physical world. It's almost like start preparing to release and let go because there's going to be this, this opportunity coming through for you to basically move and or, or take a detour um, to finding a better to finding a place or a situation that is more that is better for you that is better for who you want to be or what you see yourself as but you've got to prepare to release and let go wait you're going to be receiving a major download this week. Like a major gift is coming through. Because I feel like this is spirit actually sending the magic to you. And being able to just sort of like, almost like queen of cups or like knight of cups, like fill you up. But you have to prepare, Cancer. You have to prepare for it. Give with gratitude. Okay, okay. This is really interesting. Like, like, Nothing is ever simple, is it? So, um, ah, clear out the clutter by being generous. Go through your house, take away all those things that you don't need and give it to charity. 
You have got to do something charitable this week. Like, like literally clear out the clutter, give it to charity. It's saying you need to clear out your space because there's a, a big download coming into you. And you could do good. You could do good for others as we love to do by clearing out the space. Clear, clear out. Clear it out. Just take everything that you don't use, everything that you don't need, and give it to Goodwill, give it to a charity, give it, give it, give it away. Because honestly, you're going to need the space. Something is coming through. What is grounding you? There is always enough, an abundance of happiness and emotional stability of feeling good about who you are and feeling good about yourself, making your dreams real, something that you've been constructing and wielding and whittling for maybe for the past year is coming into fruition and actually starting to generate something that you can rely on, which is getting you unstuck, clearing out the clutter, liberate yourself, make room for this new life that you've actually been forming and working on. You're about to, your biggest abundance is the fact that you're not stuck anymore. The fact that you're not bogged down by this need to constantly, it's not that. It's, it's you, you've, you felt like you constantly give yourself away and nobody fills you up. That's not true. What the breakthrough is, is you're realizing and you're really being liberated by this is that you're always filled. You're always filled. There is always enough. Like, how do you always find it? How do you always find the energy for everybody else? If you don't have it, you do always have it. And I feel like you're finally realizing your power this week. You're finally realizing just how much energy you generate and just how much spirit has constantly been helping you. And you know what, Cancerian? There's a huge breakthrough that's coming, a huge download. I'm going to turn the camera around to review. Hold on. See, there's an opportunity that's been hidden. Maybe something that you actually gave up on, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't give up on it. It's like, don't give up on this because there's these guys are still talking to each other. There's still a tremendous amount of potential here that you have right inside of yourself. You're being giving a download. You're receiving all of this energy and all of this magic and all of these blessings, not realizing it. Instead, you feel depleted. You feel like you don't have anything, but how do you not have anything if somehow you find a way to keep going? Of course, you're finding a way to keep going because you have a tremendous, in fact, you have more than enough. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna declutter your life this week. That's what you're gonna do. You're going to make room for the abundance that's coming into you by literally decluttering and giving your stuff away to somebody who needs it and usher in. There's this grounding energy of certainty about your purpose and about who you are and about what makes you the most happy. And you are working it. You are working that all this week. Like liberate yourself. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing or what anybody else feels. What you have to focus on is, is your goals. And, and where your mind is at, like your aspirations and moving forward. And I really feel like there's this tremendous amount of liberation that's coming. You're going to be unstuck. You understand? You're going to be emotionally, at the very least, you're going to be emotionally unstuck from what has tied you down and tethered you. What has made you feel completely drained. You're going to realize, I'm not drained. I'm not even stuck. I'm fine. My life is really good. And breaking yourself free emotionally from anything that made you feel obligated or bogged down. In fact, you're going to realize you have more than enough. Give it away. Clean out the clutter. You're about to receive a huge download. Let's see what this download is. And also what your romance reading is. Cancer, I'll see you over on the extended. The link is below.